Hello, welcome to my new channel. This is the premiere for Vox Papilio. Vox for voice, Papilio for butterflies. As you are listening, butterflies flying, birds singing. This is the fantasy world. This is for the kids at home or the grown-ups. Why not? So carrying on, my name is Silvia Dos Santos. I am your host tonight. I will read a short story for Disney named Cinderella, one of my favorites. So I adore children. I feel when I feel the most loved and the most at ease and safe, yeah, safe, is around children. Because I feel that I I am still a kid. I'm a child within at heart. So I feel so good around children. I love taking care of children. I hope to have children someday. Who knows? So today and because Art in Heart the podcast and the Yet a Radio Singing Channel podcast my two channels are a huge success and thank you all for that i was missing something a vox papilio channel i came up with this name to ask me how i dreamt of this name so you can say that something magical happened in my dream and because I still believe in dreams to be fulfilled every day. I in my own head I live happily because I see the world as it should be with great colors, cotton candy, fantasy world and with birds singing, flowers, perfume of the flowers everywhere and butterflies my favorites so yeah i'm an adult i'm 40 years old yeah of course but the world is already sometimes a sad and terrible place to be but not all the time right so why not have a channel to give some kind of hope for the kids out there and some grown-ups who still love these fairy tales welcome to my new channel keep listening to the other channels art and heart and the yet radio you already know on slash podcast you'll find the other channels art and heart the other radio but tonight let's start the new one, Vox Papilio. Enough said. So, I'm Silvia Dos Santos. Yeah, you already know. And kids, grown ups, enjoy.
Once upon a time, there was a kind girl named Cinderella. Cinderella? Cinderella? Yes, Cinderella. This is her story. Short story. All of the animals loved her, especially two mice named Gus and Jack. They'd do anything for the girl they called Cinderella. Cinderella lived with a stepmother and her two stepsisters, Anastasia and Drusella. They were very mean to Cinderella, making her work for them all day, cleaning for them, sewing and cooking. Cinderella tried her best to make them happy. Her sad mother, her wicked sad mother, and her stepsisters. So, Lady Tremaine. Cinderella's stepmother was cold, cruel, and jealous of Cinderella's charm and beauty. She enjoyed giving Cinderella extra chores to do. Such as bathing her cat, Lucifer. One day, a messenger arrived with a special invitation. There was going to be a royal ball at the palace. Wow, a royal ball at the palace. The king wanted his son to find a bride of his own. Every young woman in the kingdom was invited, including Cinderella. Cinderella? Cinderella? Yes, Cinderella was invited to the ball. Cinderella was very excited, as should be expected, of course, about the ball. In the attic, she found a dress that had belonged to her late mother. It was a bit old-fashioned, but Cinderella could make it beautiful again. Lady Tremaine. Her stepmother, cruel stepmother. Lady Tremaine didn't want Cinderella to go to the ball. She wanted the prince to meet Anastasia and Drizella, the wicked stepsisters of Cinderella. Maybe, just maybe, the prince. Would marry one of the ugly stepsisters. You didn't hear it from me. Lady Tremaine kept Cinderella busy all day and all night with chores that would take her, as I said, all night to finish. While Cinderella was working, the mice, her friends, the little mice, and birds. You listen to the birds. Fixed her dress. They added ribbons and beads that the two step sisters had thrown away. Working together, the animals turned a simple dress into a fabulous gown. Cinderella was overjoyed 
When she saw the dress, now she could go to the ball. Yay! And she said, "Oh, thank you so much." Cinderella said to Gus, Jack, and the birds. Her friends were the animals. When the stepsisters saw their old ribbons and beads on Cinderella's dress, they flew into a rage. They ripped the dress and pulled off the beads. Lady Tremaine didn't stop them, of course. Cinderella's dream of going to the ball was through. Cinderella ran away to the garden to cry. Suddenly, a fairy godmother appeared with a wave of a wand. She turned a pumpkin into an elegant coach. Cinderella could now go to the ball, but her dress was still ruined by the wicked stepsisters. Bubbly boo, bubbly boo," said the fairy godmother, waving her wand again. Cinderella was now wearing a beautiful gown and sparkling glass slippers. But all of this came with a warning. When the clock struck midnight, the magic spell would wear off. Oh, poor Cinderella! At the ball, Prince Charming, handsome Prince Charming, couldn't take his eyes off Cinderella. Of course, the orchestra played, and the prince began to dance with a wonderful girl, mysterious girl, whose name he still didn't know. For Cinderella, the night was a dream come true. Before too long. The clock began to strike midnight. Goodbye, Cinderella said, hurrying away from the prince. Come back, called the prince. I don't even know your name. As Cinderella fled, one of her glass slippers came off. The prince sent the Grand Duke to find the girl who fit the glass slipper. Lady Tremaine locked Cinderella in the attic, but Cinderella's mouse friends, the little mice, freed her. Thank God for that. Then Lady Tremaine tripped the Grand Duke, and the glass slipper shattered. But Cinderella had. The other shoe, the other glass slipper in her pocket, and it fits. So Cinderella and the prince were soon married. Everyone rejoiced, including Cinderella's mouse friends, who wore special outfits to the wedding. Oh, I wish I could see that. Filled with joy. Prince Charming and Cinderella lived happily ever after. I'm going to say this again. I had to. Filled with joy, Prince Charming and Cinderella lived happily ever after. This was the short story for the premiere of the new channel, Vox Papilio. Butterflies, cotton candy, birds everywhere. Did you enjoy? I'm talking to the kids, but the grown-ups can answer too. My name is Silvia De Santos. I hope you enjoyed. I had fun. Bye bye.